So, long time no update, probably because things have been relatively stable and I've had nothing to update. Still on my peg tube, still on the peg tube for life, still on 18 hour feeds, still battling many malnutrition, vitamin deficiency things popping up, and just none of them worth mentioning, it's just a pain, more a pain in the ass than anything else, you know, just things you gotta keep on top of, but as of yesterday, I may have an update. Oh, this, by the way, this is my new cool jumpsuit. I'm in love with it. Thought I'd share. So, um, I, as I've, you know, I've had, as of previous um, videos, that I had a really bad peg infection with an abscess that nearly killed me back in 2020. And I picked up a, like a surface level peg infection. So I hadn't traveled down the stoma, I hadn't caused an abscess, but it was like passing around the, uh, the top part of my stoma. Um, and I'm, so I've been treating that um, with my GP with um, Celefexin, which is like a skin um, antibiotic, like a skin condition antibiotic, and um, with Aquacel um, gauze and with microbial, uh, antimicrobial gauze as well. And it wasn't really getting much better. And I was starting to get a bit concerned because it had been a few days and I was starting to feel a bit worse and worse. And I was, I was doing a lot of bed rest, doing a lot of laying down and sleeping. And... Um, it all sort of came to a head yesterday when um, my partner came home from shopping and was sitting on the end of the bed and um, trying to get some yogurt or you know, nutrients into me at all because I hadn't been able to feed because of the infection. I hadn't been able to connect up to my, my, my machine or anything like that. And um, so uh, he was um, talking to me at the end of the bed and he said I, um, I was talking and then I, he said I sort of, sort, of, sort of started mumbling and he thought I was falling asleep. And then I went limp um, and non-responsive and I started vomiting while I was unconscious and choke, um, with my head back and choking on my own vomit um, and he had grabbed me by this point and put me in the recovery position and was shaking me and trying to trying to wake me up and trying to clear my th clear my airway um, and with with one hand he's trying to hold me and trying to keep me in the recovery position and making sure that I, if I was kept, I kept vomiting I kept I vomited out and then on the other hand, he's trying to get triple zero, trying to get the ambulance on the phone. Um, he, um, he's panicking. He's screaming for my roommate. And my roommate's in her room studying with her headphones in. Can't hear a thing. One of those things. Um, and um, so we're very lucky. Um, I, like apparently my breath, breathing was very shallow and not very regular. Um, and um, he was rubbing my back and trying to, and um, you know, trying to trying to encourage me to breathe and just and trying to keep me, you know, tap, tapping me and calling my name. Don't remember much of this at all. Um, and then what happened is the, the ambulance was there, you know, lights blazing, full disco. Um, within five minutes, they were quick as bunnies. Um, and they've come, and um, I've sort of semi woken up. I don't recall much of it. Um, I and they've um, tried to. Tried to put a line in me, blew out a vein, <laughs> couldn't, <laughs> um, gave up, <laughs> decided to just load me, load me in and just take me straight to ER. Um, I have steps at the front of my house. I've never had, they had me on this weird step thing. Um, I don't have my, apparently it was, the, I was loving bouncing up and down the stairs and I was in and out of it. My head's lolling around. I'm in and out of consciousness, vomiting. My partner is an absolute mess. This is, by this point, this is probably the fifth or sixth time he's actually physically saved my life. Not like I'm talking emotionally or spiritually or, you know, you know, healed me from childhood traumas or I'm talking this man has physically saved my life. But this is probably the sixth time. What do you do with that? How do you reward that? Like how many pancake breakfasts do I make to say thank you for my own life? Anyway, um, so we go straight to ER and they, they hush me through pretty quickly. Um, my pain, I've ha by this point, I haven't had, I've run out of um, Tepentadol, my pain med, two days ago. I've had Lyrica that day. Um, my Ondansetron um, uh, anti-emetic has not worked at all. I'm vomiting through that. Um, so what they've done is they've given me um, fentanyl through a snow spray, three sprays of that. I did not feel a thing. I'm the Keith Richards of, I could give Keith Richards 10 runs for his money. This is, this is ridiculous at this point. And then they've given me three more, three Tepentadols. Now, if you don't know what Tepentadol is, it's a benzo opioid. It's used for neuropathy pain. It's three times stronger than Tramadol. And the usual dose for an, a normal person who doesn't have liver dysfunction, whose body knows how to process drugs, um, is one. I had three and also that fentanyl, still not a pain. I'm still feeling pain. <laughs> 
Um, and I'm still conscious, <laughs> more to the point. I'm 140 centimeters tall and I weigh 50, 50 kilos. This will floor an elephant. I'm a, I'm a miracle wonder of the world, slash Keith Richards, you know, worst enemy. Um, and um, so I'm, I'm semi-lucid by this point. Um, they've, and they've put me on a, they've managed to get an IV in. Um, they've, they've blown out another three veins. I've got like, they managed to get one at th through here. They couldn't get through here. They couldn't get through here. My veins are terrible. I've got really tiny little veins and they were just having no luck with them because I was dehydrated as well. Um, so what's happened is um, they've put me on IV um, antibiotics and they've put me on IV antiemetics and also put me on IV, um, you know, like saline like, to hydrate me. Um, and um, they've also, the doctors there were absolutely, and the nurses were beautiful. I didn't feel, I didn't have to convince them of everything that was wrong with me because they had my history. They knew that I had a very high tolerance for medication because my body no longer processes it properly due to the malnutrition. They knew about my history they knew that I, I didn't have to convince anyone that I needed meds I didn't, I didn't feel like I had to beg for pain meds I didn't feel like I felt like I was being taken seriously the whole whole time they left they gave us because we um, ran out of Aquacel and we were trying to get onto my surgeon because we had no more and you can only order it you can't buy it anywhere and that's the special gauze that eats up sort of like an infection and we needed more of that they gave us a ton of and yeah I um yeah I um if it wasn't for my part if my partner had come home 10 minutes later or if he had decided to go out later um i wouldn't be here right now that's how easy this sort of shit is i would have choked to death in my sleep but here i am annoying you all now with a new video telling you to appreciate every damn second even if it hurts because that's how easy it is to get taken away i'm here I've got a market stall this weekend. I'm damned if I'm going to die and not be able to do it. I'm going to label all my stuff and sell all this stuff that I've made and probably wear an awesome, awesome outfit, let's face it. Take this day and hold it because you don't know. You don't know how easy it is for it to all go away. My poor partner is traumatized as hell and when he wakes up finally after his well-earned sleep, I'm going to give him hot chocolate and I'm going to rub his feet. And I'm going to try and figure out a way that I can say thank you for the sixth time for making sure that I'm still here. It's important. I never thought it was, but for him it's, it is so, it must be important, you know. Even if you don't have a value in yourself, watching someone else value you so highly that they throw their lives. On the line to make sure you're okay, like, that's a big fucking deal. Don't ever take that for granted. I am so fucking lucky. Even if I'm half dead. So, Carp DM sees this fucking day. No matter what you do with it, whether it's nothing or everything, it's important that you're here. Keep fighting, kids.